Okay, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. I'm here. <laughs> I was just having a little bit of a fright. Um, that uh, Streamlabs was not working in my thing, because that's what I use for all my commands. <laughs> but I seem to have fixed it. For some reason, it had been turned off on the website. I have no idea why. <laughs> yes. Uh, $4,100. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, my shoes. Wow. I think that is the cheapest they can go. $100. Those are some budget shoes. Heck yeah. We love a bargain. We love clearance. Yes, it is working now. Ooh, I was almost frightened because I didn't know how to, how to fix it if it wasn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah okay okay i'm good i'm good i'm good all right how is everybody doing today i was able to uh do a little bit of a crisis on my end i won't go into details about it but hopefully we're getting it sorted out so i shifted my schedule i'm gonna see my appointments tomorrow and uh I got in some hiking, so I guess not a complete loss for the day. Got some really good footage of some of the uh, fall autumn vibes mm -hmm. over at a local gorge that I've never been to before, so it was kind of cool. I was all by myself, and then it rained, but it was still worth it. It was still worth it to just spend some time in nature and breathe and do my thing. So, I can't really complain about that. Uh, Emmy, the weather's got you really sleepy today. Oh, Well, my uh, cozy vibe stream is probably going to continue to make you sleepy today. Sorry. <laughs> but hopefully it's a nice, relaxing sleepy, rather than just feeling exhausted and tired. Um, yeah. So it's been a mixed day. It's been a mixed day. But overall, I'm feeling good. We beat our uh, follower goal. Um, I'm up to 53 now. Big hype. I am just impressed that that's been happening. So we're going to shoot for, you know, 10 more. Try to get to 60 if we can next week. And keep building our little cozy community from there. Uh, you're going doing Luigi's Mansion Prep for tomorrow since you're going to stream it. Ooh, so spoopy. I only played that game a little bit. Yes, follower goal met. Yes, 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 yes. Thankfully, we are moving forward uh, in our little Twitch venture, which is cool. Which is cool. Okay. Uh, did not play it much either, but it is a, it is a cute game. I think it's nice to see someone that's not Mario featured. So, for example, I really liked in Super Mario RPG that you got to have Princess Peach as the main, one of the main characters. It was really cute to see that change. And then they added, I think Bowser could be in your party. Um, and then two original characters, Mallow and Gino. They were really neat. I wish Gino would come back. He would make a really cool Super Smash Bros. character. I think that would be really awesome. But, I don't know. I've not seen Gino since that game, so I wonder if the rights to his character live in a in a dark dungeon somewhere of Square Enix. Or Nintendo, or maybe there was a battle about it. I don't know. But that was a really cute game. Uh, yeah, Luigi's Mansion definitely is a little less um, frightening, <laughs> is the word I would use, uh, than Poppy's Playtime. I did, uh, I did bear with you and uh, watched a bit of the game. Not gonna lie, I was a little distracted doing some other tasks whilst watching, just because it, my, my little heart, my little heart might not be able to take all of the scary vibes if I just really get absorbed into it. <laughs> uh, but it looked like you had a lot of fun, Emmy, and I think that's what's really important. 
I think the other thing I, I thought was kind of frustrating for you was that the game kept crashing and that's you know a lot to have to try to deal with under pressure to be able to not you know panic that oh my gosh what am I gonna do like I just did with Streamlabs uh, not doing its thing <laughs> um, but it all worked out and I think the more we have those experiences where we're trying to figure something out and it doesn't go quite to plan that's always a great opportunity to learn uh, thankfully everyone watching was super supportive and able to laugh yeah absolutely your audience was right there with you understandable and supportive and loving we was there with you emmy for sure so yeah tonight we are going to continue our playthrough of Tomba 2, a fabulous platformer game from the PlayStation 1 era. It's a bit of an experimental title, I think, compared to some other games at the time, but I find Tomba to be as enjoyable as when I played Spyro or um, Crash Bandicoot, you know, those early PS1 titles. Um, not as too different than um, like Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie on the N64 was kind of a, a similar vibe with the puzzle mechanics and trying to solve things and the open world concept. Um, but Toomba just really finessed uh, what they were doing, especially the second game where they were able to adapt things and make things a little bit different. Added voice acting, which I thought was a really interesting experiment for a PlayStation game. Because, for example, in, in the Final Fantasy series, we didn't see voice acting, I think, until 10. And that was on the PlayStation 2. So the developing development team of, of Toomba was really ahead of their time to have voice acting for every single character. Little side quests and everything. So, I mean, obviously, you still got the trope of the silent protagonist. <laughs> Tuba does not talk. Regardless, I think it's really neat how they were to, able to add that. And it is a little cringe. And some of the music definitely gets old after a while. But all in all, it's, it's just a really well-built game. I wish the team had been able to continue the, the production to make some other stuff. But, oh well, it is what it is. Okay, so I think I'm ready to get cracking on our game. So let's switch over to that scene. Let me get that out of the way. Oh yeah, and I built this little wallpaper. If anybody wants this little wallpaper, um, you're welcome to it. I just popped up in Canva and built it and it was super cute I love it so much love it love it love it all right I think if I unpause this does it show up it does okay there is the game so honestly it's been a week and I do not recall <laughs> where we left off with our our feral friend Toomba it seems we are in the ranch area and we've solved the magic uh, the evil pigs that was in this area so that's a good sign but honestly don't remember where we left off it's interesting get that pinky So I think my goal, if I don't beat the game, is to at least try and get each of the um, hidden towers unlocked and get the special weapons. So I think one of them is right here. I don't know which one it is, but it is one of them. Do I have one of the spells? Is this the spell of strength?
Ooh. Okay. So we got one down. Level <laughs> three. Yes. I don't remember what the trial of this uh, entails, but we got here. Okay. This is the bottom. Is there anything down here? No? Not yet. Uh, Emmy says, I found an emulator to play Magica Girl Pretty Sammy that came out on the PS1, but it's only in Japanese. Well, Emmy, I bet if you do some research, you might find a translated ROM. Ooh, the Torch Hammer. Look at this bad boy. Wow. Listen to that crash. Damn. You're going to keep looking? Yeah, I would. Why not? Yeah, I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to emulation, but I imagine somebody out there has done the hard labor <laughs> of translating it if it's, a, if it's a good game. I know there was a kind of like a Street Fighter-ish beat-em-up Sailor Moon game on the Super Nintendo, perhaps, I think I've played before, which is kind of cool. You want to find it? Yeah, that's a good one. All right, I don't know how to get out of this thing. I don't really think there's anything else in it besides this hammer. Alright, so at least we got the strength tower completed. So let's go to the top of the Kajara area. A, to get some heals. Let's go soak in the top. And then B, I think we can break open those um, boxes that were there. Okay, okay, I restarted the stream. My computer just decided to be strange and almost crashed. I think I had um, too many folks' uh, streams running in the background and it was just too much for my computer to keep up with. So I closed all of them. And I think I seem to be back. Is this going? Let's check and see up time. Okay, so it looks like it did restart an instance. No worries. No worries. We're going. We're going. We're back. We got this. <laughs> that was very strange. All right. Okay. So I need to reopen Duck Station. Maybe it was Duck Station that crashed it. I don't know. We'll reset our PlayStation. Ah, uh, hey, Sav. Give a nice welcome to our friend Inquisitor, aka Sav. How is your day going? I, uh, my stream just crashed, so we're starting over. So you haven't really missed anything. Forgive you, you haven't been following me. You just clicked the link in the Discord. <laughs> 
Well, at least you're following the Discord and keeping up with every all of your shenanigans there. So there's that. <laughs> Thank you, Sav, for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Hey, look, you just were waiting because you wanted your name to be the badge on um, on my thing there on the bottom. <laughs> Hey, Hill. Hey, Hill. How's it going? Give a little lump to our buddy, Hale. We are having a heck of a day. My stream just crashed while I was trying to play a game. So, you know, sometimes that be how it be. <laughs> but I think I fixed it. I had too many friends uh pages open on twitch and my computer was just like no you don't need to have that many friends augustine that's too many <laughs> so as far as that goes who knows um catching up with chat let's see uh okay we gotta follow as far as how i am my ankles hurt and my kitty is being annoying beside that i'm all right oh no did your kitty cat also eat your headphones? <laughs> I know Kaya was having a problem with her kitty cat. I'm sorry your ankles hurt. That's unfortunate. All right. Come on. Come on. There we go. The PlayStation's loaded. It did the thing. It did the thing. Okay, so we're going to start over and we're just going to reload our game, which should be fine. So I don't think we got very far. I know, poor Kaya. The cat just wanted her to have wireless earbuds, I think Fox said. <laughs> Seems logical. Seems logical. Uh, Saf, your cat screams at everything that moves, but she leaves wires alone, thankfully. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> I'm glad that she's not eating the wires. I just want to check over here to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. But since I got rid of the evil pig magic, I don't know what uh, what gets updated or not. Oh, I love the little flying squirrel suit. It's so cute. All right, I want my hammer. Is there anything down here in Santa's house? Is there a chest I couldn't open or something? Looks like I opened it. Yep. No, that's not a door. It looked like it would be a door, but it is not a door. Alright, got that piggy gun. Oh yeah, we've got to visit all the little mice. That's something we still have to do. So let's go get our hammer back. Whee! Whoop! <laughs> I was too impetuous. Just want to make sure there wasn't a chest or something up there. Okay. Try this again. So this was the strength tower. The door appeared. And the door opened. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you, stream closed captioner, for reminding me. But what we're using burned in. 
good titles today. I've discovered I don't think um, the stream closed captioner uh, works for mobile users. At least I've struggled with other creator streams to be able to see their subtitles when I'm on mobile compared to if I'm on my browser. Maybe it's a user error, I don't know, but it kind of annoys me to have that accessibility as an issue. You can see it on mobile, but it takes up the whole screen. Yeah, it's an accessibility issue. So I, I like burning it right into the video. That way it's right there, everybody has an equal opportunity to see it and review it, and no one feels left out. Okay. So this is what crashed my game. Am I gonna crash? I'm a little anxious. No. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> We're gonna save our game just in case. Because we're extra nervous now. I should recreate this background backdrop to you with the big nose and the foot. That's really cute. Alright, so. Beware, you could burn up. Okay. Oh, that. We need to go the coal mining town because we missed a whole area there <laughs> with a guy who cooks. Alright, take care of you. What does the that shed thing quest give you? Give me a second. I want to look that up. To be. Where are the events? Oops. Events. Ujara. Escaped Kujara, Kujara washing shed, wash the Kujara, the Kujara washing expert. That's the one, I think. What does it do? <clears throat> you get the golden moon. Oh, so it's for the golden tower. So there's a, a golden tower as well as the three towers. I forgot about the golden tower. Do we want to try it? We haven't tried it since I think we first unlocked it. Hey. I'm really but now that it's got warm out. You have to clip yes, their hair. Their hair grew out during the cold spell, but while I was clipping the first the other three ran off and I am at wit's end. Ooh. They look so funny without their fur. Look at them. <laughs> They're so small. So the washing shed is in this room. So if those guys don't have fur anymore, does that mean... Oh yeah, these guys still do. Okay. You want it. So we have to get to level 10. Did not expect a game that looks this old to have full voice acting. Yeah, I was chatting with Emmy earlier that um, one of the things that amazed me about this game, you know, is that every single NPC and side character has full dialogue. I mean, Final Fantasy didn't do that until Final Fantasy X in the PlayStation 2 era. It's really innovative. 
I don't think I'm gonna succeed, y'all. These naughty birdies. Sounds surprising, they're not terrible. Some, some is better than others. I will, I will be honest. But honestly, my, my opinion of Final Fantasy X, great game, but some of the voice acting in that game also left uh, something to be desired. Cue the uh, Titus laugh scene. Such cringe. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Y'all know. Y'all get it. Wow, we beat level 7. That's fabulous. Clear. Two more to go. Good. That's the way. Yeah, so you see every bit of dialogue. That's voice acting. Uh. I am looking forward to when we get to X and X2. All right. In our oh, Final well, Fantasy true. streams. These critters are tougher than the last ones. Oh, so we're still going. Okay. I wanted to switch weapons. Can I switch? Nope. Oh. Okay. Yeah, X2 is really cute with the sphere grids. It reminds me of the job system in Final Fantasy V. And some of them are just as useless as some of the jobs in Final Fantasy V. <laughs> uh, Saf says, I've heard a lot of Final Fantasies are good, um, but haven't gotten around to most of them. Try to be able to 14's only one you finished. Well, and is 14 ever really finished? <laughs> Yep, so I have played... Have I played every single one at this point now? Um, there's a bunch of sequels for 13 I didn't ever get a chance to play. Would you? Stab it. Bad bird. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no! Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to get this. <laughs> um, so I've played, now that I've been able to uh, get through Final Fantasy 1 and 2, those are the two games that I had never played. Um, and I've now beat them. Final Fantasy 3 I played briefly, did not finish. 4 I have not finished, but 5 I did, 6, 7, 8, 9 I need to complete. Ten, I need to complain. That's the way. A uh, good double. I, uh, yeah, there's a bunch I need to complete, but I played a majority of them. All right. You watch the streams to support your boy and to experience Final Fantasies you wouldn't have patience for. Oh. Well, we appreciate you hanging out, Saf. Your humor is always welcome. Yo! In 10, Emmy says that she gets caught on Blitzball every time. Yeah, I hate Blitzball. Not a fan. Yep, I've definitely decided in my Final Fantasy playthrough I'm not about 100% completion. I just want to try to beat each game. I think that is a fair enough goal. 
because there's so much to do in all the games with all the side quests and ultimate weapons. Ooh, I mean, oh, so you, meaning when you get caught, you get, like, sucked into playing Blitzball. Got it. No, I think for me, I just couldn't quite get the controller mechanics for underwater. I think the only game that I liked with an underwater movement mechanic was, um, what was it? Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, I thought, did a pretty good job. Hey, Kai. How's it going? We are trying to catch these sweet little babies so they will take a bath. Kite is uh, the newest addition to the mod team here at Monstream. <laughs> Begrudgingly accepted taking that badge. <laughs> But we love having you here, Kite. Uh, Sap says, I rarely 100% games, even if anyway? I really like it. Yeah, these guys yeah, that makes sense. Pros. My hair looks different. Yeah, I didn't spike it today. I had a family emergency um, earlier today. So my time of getting up and ready was a little reduced. <laughs> But all is well. All is well for now. We'll see. It also might be the lighting. Sometimes the white balance gets a little different. Come on, get in there. Get. Okay. That one. Uh, Saf, you thought I got it cut? No. I mean, I did get it cut probably last weekend? No, two weekends ago. Ooh. No, no, no! Get in there. Uh, beer back. No problem, Kite. Take your time. Self-care is good for the soul and body and brain. Ow. Now, usually I spike my hair. Today was the exception. Oh, I was hoping that maybe I was lucky to... No, no, no! Get over here. Get over here. Nope. I failed. <sighs> Take as much time as you need. Oh, Sal. <laughs> You would be careful, buddy. Kite has the ban hammer power now. <laughs> you glad you joined in time to see me jump at a wall? <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. pretty smooth. I think this is the last uh, set of the washings that we have to do to finish this minigame. Which will make me very happy that I won't have to come back here. I'm really not looking forward to finishing this stupid trolley game. I just don't enjoy it. You have the power of triangles. How many angles are you trying? Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Yes. Phew. 
All right, now we just gotta get this last precious little Kujara into the bath. Can we do it in 48 seconds? We did it, y'all. We beat the Kujara washing game. Huzzah. Hey, you actually washed them all. I sure did. To wash a tough group like that, you are truly the new master of Kujara washing. Oh, yes, I am. I am the master. All right, a gold item, the golden moon. No more rivals for you guys. Okay. So we're looking for these Kujara that are just kind of boot in a boot. Wow. Done. Pot of half life acquired. Come here. Hey. Thank you. I think there is two. Oh, another pot. Perfect. Oh, let's break this chest. So I still need to go in that door. So I need a sad mushroom. I need to remember to bring a sad mushroom to that particular room. Because I think the fruit I'm looking for is in it. Just making sure there's nothing there. Do you have any new dialogue? is all gone. Life's much easier now. You really did meet the evil pig. Do you have the evil pig robe? I do. With the magic gauge, you'll be catching up with enemies more often. Don't forget. Oh, we still need to make our ice candy with the, um, the little evil pig's robe. There's a good job. Come here, buddy. All right, we've got to clip your hair. Why did he sound like Droopy Dog? I don't know, okay. Maybe it's the same voice actor. Also, you know what Droopy Dog is? Sus. It's like a boomer cartoon, isn't it? Hey, you brought them back. Well, let's get started clipping hair. Oh, that is Saf. My bad. <laughs> Saf, are you a boomer? <laughs> All right. Now they'll be cool enough to run around without worry. Yeah, the sixties or seventies. That's what I mean. It's like a boomer cartoon or at least a Gen X cartoon. was made by boomers. Indeed. You're 23. <laughs> oh, you watch Boom. That makes sense. There was a lot of those shows on Boomerang. Alright. Emmy says that she loved Boomerang. Alright. I wonder what would be on Boomerang now. <laughs> It'll be like, Rugrats! <laughs> A lot of stuff that will make me feel old. Sumire is a fake Zoomer. Ooh. Alright, 
I'm gonna go to the mine. And we're gonna talk to the cook, which is an NPC I've skipped this entire game. He's gonna teach us how to make baked potatoes and stuff. Uh, Emmy says a lot of stuff will make you feel old. Things like Johnny Bravo, Dexter's. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, never watched Rugrats or either of those it's before your time. Yep, yep. I'm sure it is. I used to watch that stuff. I liked Rugrats. It was a cool show. So this door, I've literally never entered the entire time I played this game. <laughs> Recipe, huh? I could make it for you. Unfortunately, the stove is on the fritz and it won't light. Do you have a recipe book there? If you bring me the ingredients, maybe I can fix something. Ooh. Cook special menu. Uh, Kite didn't watch TV as a child. Ooh, what were you doing instead, Kite? Being a productive member of uh, your, your scouts troop or what? <laughs> uh, steak sandwich to cure oily smear break, cook a big piece of meat in the burning machine to make steak okay if you're laughing or crying try boiling potatoes to make a hash potato sandwich and if you're invisible make dried fish sandwich in the town of fishermen see art for details okay so we can make one of those right now up here. I'm Asian. What do you want? <laughs> Doing maths and English workbooks. Quite studious of you, indeed. Yeah, The Rugrats was interesting as a show. It was pretty progressive for its time featured a Jewish family and had a bunch of cool Jewish traditions. Honestly, it, I was exposed to a bunch of um, Jewish holidays and narratives and stories of their culture because it was in the Rugrats. Otherwise, I would have never been exposed to it as a kid. Your parents would buy them from Costco. <laughs> oh no. Speaking of, I did go to Costco last weekend. That was a, an adventure. Okay, so we made our steaks. Now we need to go make some potatoes. Baron, let's go to... Emmy watched TV constantly. Oh no. Uh, you like Costco, but live and cook for yourself, so it's not worth buying from there a lot of times. You know, it's just me and my partner too um, here, and so I have the same issue sometimes where it just doesn't make sense to make a bunch of stuff. But it is cool to see different little surprises that they're offering. Because you can find some things that you won't see anywhere else. Same with Sam's Club. Sam's Club has some neat stuff too. Oh, not TV Rugrats when it was on. Like those giant cupcakes? I have some right now. They are lemony. How do I do this? There we go. I made candy. Alright, that's not gonna work in this area. We'll make our candy elsewhere. You love the raspberry one? Yeah, they were really mad good.
hot take. I don't like cake. Hey, that rhymed. Good job, Kite. Alright, we need to put potato. Where's my potatoes? I know I have them somewhere. Potato. Potato used. Poor Thal. Half boiled potato. You like muffins though? Ooh. Sap says that your sister doesn't like them either? You're both weird. <laughs> you know, I've always been more of a savory enjoyer than a sweets enjoyer. I mean, sweets are nice, but it's not my preference. Alright, I think that's what I need from there. So let's go back to the fisherman village. There's our friend Baron. What does savory mean? Savory is like, um... Like cheese, potatoes, things that are a little more salty in origin. It's the salt, yeah. Uh, where's Ice Pig? There we go. Oh. Got both of them. A lot of your foods are potato based. Your favorites. Yeah. Potatoes are a wonderful, wonderful thing. So every time I've tried to put these fish on this thing, it wouldn't let me. You've gained 30 pounds in the last six months from all of the carbs. That'll do it. Why can I not put these fish on here? Oops. Small fish. No. Um. What if I go the other way? Oop. Nope. Nope. Uh, Kite says just started a workout yesterday. Trying to do it every day to lose some weight. Ooh, big hype on your fitness weight loss journey. Just know that uh, you don't want to rush it too much or try to lose too much too quickly. Yep, I too have been working on some physical health stuff. That's why I got out on a hike today when I got bad news. I was like, you know what? This is a great opportunity to uh, go out and to the woods and just chill. <laughs> it was a great experience. You would work out, but can't because ankles. That's unfortunate, Sal. All right, so we gotta let those guys dry out. Is this door opened? I don't think it has. Just do a low impact one, but don't know how bad your ankles are. You wanna go hiking? Ooh. 
love hiking. It's one of my favorites. Although soon there won't be, a, that won't be an option, at least in upstate New York. Unless I want to go winter hiking. I'm considering it. Alright, I don't think there's any more critters over here to go get. So let us travel back to the homing. Alright, let me catch up on chat here. I've been missing some things. Um, get a lot of steps at work, so once you cut back on the junk, should start losing some pounds. Alright, I hear that. Uh, and Kite says that they want to go solo camping. Just be careful. I hear so many spoopy stories about that. <laughs> um, so where I was hiking today actually is part of the Finger Lakes Trail which I believe goes from New York all the way to North Dakota. Let's see if I can find that for you. I mean, I know you're super, super west coast, but it's, a, it's an awesome trail. And so I was on a section of it today where there was a waterfall. It's really pretty. Someday I will edit that into a YouTube video. <laughs> Someday. Oh, we got the meats. Give me the meats. My cooking is just. All right. I guess we have to actually physically give him the potato. Oh, oh! I have some recipe ingredients. Let me show you what I can do. What can you do, Mr. Cook? He turned it into a sandwich. Go on. I got a hash potato sandwich. Delicious. If you find any other ingredients, bring them too. Do I have to drive far for my hikes? No, Kai, not at all. I have so many places I can just go to. There's um, a little area, like, really, literally above the hill of my house that's a really nice place to go hiking. That's surprising, considering New York. Well, Kite, I'm in upstate New York. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you. Get a map here. If it'll go. I need to what is the button studio mode so we're gonna go to browser go to where's maps google maps there it is okay so here is new york state if you can see that gameplay there we go. Now it's gone. All right, close studio mode. Thank you. So here's New York State. New York State is a large state. This is New York City. <laughs> right here. This is uh, the island of Manhattan. Here's Brooklyn. That's the city. All down there. This is Long Island. We don't go to Long Island. We avoid that. So here are the regions of New York State. So anybody who's in Manhattan, anything above Manhattan, they consider upstate. So that includes Yonkers. 
<laughs> um, anything like right past here, just about anything like up in the Bronx, sometimes they even will consider that to be upstate. Us up here, we consider this area downstate. This is all downstate, this whole area down here. Oh, I don't know if my mouse is showing. Hold on. Let me get my mouse. Where are you? Studio mode. So we're in a preview and the program's doing that. Okay. Browser properties, capture cursor. Oh, you do see the mouse. Okay. All right, close that. So the Finger Lakes are these lovely lakes right here in the middle. So the deepest one is Seneca Lake. The biggest one is Cayuga Lake. Uh, my practice is in Ithaca, which is right at the bottom of this lake here of the Finger Lakes. I live about an hour from Ithaca down in this direction in a place called Corning. And so, as you can see, we are nowhere near New York City. <laughs> it takes about four or five hours to make it from here all the way down. Um, and so we have all of this forestry, as you can see, all throughout upstate New York, everywhere. And the Adirondacks, which is in the North Country, is what we consider it. Uh, the North Country, the Adirondacks, I believe, is the biggest state park or national park, except for what you'll find in Alaska. It is huge. It is a ginormous section. That's where Stewart's is, which is a wonderful chain of stores. Um, yeah, and Emmy is down in this direction towards the Binghamton Vestal area. It's about another hour from Maine. Um, but yeah, when people say New York, this is what they mean. This little tiny island down here. But New York State is huge. It is ginormous. How deep does the deepest finger go? Let me Google it. Deep does the deepest finger lake go? Seneca Lake is the deepest lake of the Finger Lakes. It is 618 feet in depth. Pretty, pretty depth. Pretty deep, pretty deep. Honoi Lake only goes about 30. Yeah, the Finger Lakes are a really cool area. And so if you look at the Finger Lakes Trail, you'll see all through upstate New York where it goes. You're realizing how little you know about New York. Yeah, yeah, New York is definitely different. And it's funny because like, so I'm in Corning. And so that's where the famous Glassworks Museum is, um, Corning Glassware. So it's kind of neat because... I'm kind of considered Finger Lakes, even though the Finger Lakes are up here, but I'm also considered kind of the Southern Tier, because that's like the Binghamton area, that's the Southern Tier. But then over here, we've got like Buffalo, Rochester. This part of the map is Western New York, which has its own kind of uh, culture to it. It's a little bit of a different uh, vibe. And then Central New York is kind of around Syracuse area and I grew up around this spot so yeah New York is a ginormous state with many different little sub dialects and cultures and so most people whenever I meet them and they I tell them I'm from New York 100% of the time they believe I'm from Manhattan and I'm not even close it takes a long time to get there I think I've been to the city maybe three or four times in my whole life <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to studio mode. Go back to our gameplay. Deck station back. Browser off. Studio mode closed. Okay, I did the thing. All right, let me catch up on chat. I think I missed some stuff. Um, so me, Kite, and Thal can all camp together in the forest of Vegas. Oh no, it's surprising considering New York, can see it. Uh, I can see the campaign in the middle of Vegas. Yonkers is not upstate. Well, Emmy, according to people in New York City, Manhattan, Yonkers is upstate. Interesting, no one wants to claim Yonkers though. I see the mouse, how deep does it go? Uh, Emmy says I'm about 45 minutes to an hour. 
from you, also equally as far from New York, yeah. Uh, Kaya, you live so far from work? I do. I live about 50 minutes driving time from work. You want to live in Alaska? That's cool. It's dark there. Uh, Emmy's team is based an hour and 45 away. If you ever have to go to the office working remote, realizing how little you know about New York, same here. Uh, you can come visit Saf and we can show you. Rio won't mind having a bunch of folks come. Road trip, you always lived in New York. I'm wondering how much I actually know about Ohio. Maybe it's all actually corn country. Our area is a cornfield area. Yes, Kite, I have always lived in the state of New York. This is this is true. If you find any other Alright, so we got our steak sandwich. We gotta go get our fish now. So let's get Baron back. Yep, we're a huge dairy state. We have uh, quite the apple exports. Um, we do grow a lot of produce like corn and stuff. And one of the more recent um, agricultural investments is all the hemp stuff. Oh, I didn't want her. I want to put on my ice, ice pig robe. Uh, Quizzer says, my hometown in Ohio is very small. There's corn on three sides. <laughs> in the town of Walmart. Uh, live super duper close to the Las Vegas Strip. That's cool. I would imagine that gets really expensive being near the Strip. Yeah, I've never been to Vegas. All right, we got our dried fish. Sweet. Give me your life blood energy, please. Thank you. Give me your life blood. I need it. Give it to me. Thank you. Uh, it's eight hundred and forty dollars a month. You have three roommates but a private bathroom, and that's each. Ooh, that is rough. Yeah, Ithaca, where my practice is, um, is a college town. And so most apartments, you're looking at a studio apartment in Ithaca, and it's gonna be probably $1,500, and they're dumps. So I get it. Much cheaper than California. Yeah, California's taxes are really high, just like New York's. Yeah, if you want a one bedroom in Ithaca, you're looking at two, maybe three grand, and that probably doesn't even include utilities. So that's why I live so far. It's much cheaper here. Plus, with the pandemic, I was working every day uh, from home. And now that's what I do half my work week. It's great. It saves me a lot of money. I'm not traveling back and forth so far. Really discovered how um, how much what I do translates to the internet very well. Oh, Kite, you used to live in the Bay. Oh, that makes sense. That tracks. I'm sure it's a beautiful city with lots of cool culture and stuff, but yeah, I, I don't know who could afford to live there. <laughs> Alright, I got some fish. Can you make me a sandwich, please? You do love California, oh, but housing oh, is crazy. Yeah. Let me show you what I can do. I've never been to California. I've never been to the West Coast. Farthest west I've gone is Michigan. Go on. If you find any other Ooh, what did you do in Arizona, Seth? Okay, so we've got our sandwiches. I don't remember where all those people are, but at least I've got them. 
one of them is at the ranch summit, I do believe. You went to go see the Grand Canyon. We have a state park here called Letchworth State Park, and they call it the Grand Canyon of the North. And then Pennsylvania has another big area, uh, Northern PA, that they also call the Grand Canyon of PA. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of funny. Did you go east or west? You weren't impressed? Hmm. Okay, so let me see. How do we get notes? Cures invisibility. Cures laughing. Cures oil. Here, buddy. I bought you a sandwich. The native owned part is cooler. Uh, I believe. Yay! Oh. Thank you. That hit the spot. In return, I've got a secret for you. I am searching for the Tower of Strength. Oh, buddy, I already beat the Tower of Strength. Thank you. I got the weapon and everything. Uh, the highlight of that trip was dad driving up railless mountains to go to a restaurant you didn't even end up going to. And both you and your dad are scared of heights. Sus. Yeah, heights can be scaly. Do you have any dialogue? It's warmer now that the evil pigs curse us. Don't go near a fire while cover. Nope. Oh yeah, I think what I want to do, I want to get a sad mushroom and open that door. So let's go to the Donglin Forest. How do people even do this drive every day? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just assuming they just get used to it. They get desensitized to it. Okay, so we got our cry baby. So let's go back to the summit. How do you click that fast? I assume that, um, because I'm streaming right out of OBS, so I would assume that there's a bit of a delay in what I'm streaming versus what you see on your end. Didn't know. <laughs> I just happened to be glancing over and I saw it. I think a butthole is an acceptable term to use. <laughs> oh, chat speed should see the same. Okay. I don't know then. I guess I'm just quick draw McGraw. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the mystery mushroom. So now we can go back and forth between those two states. To the forest. I uh, used to live in a small farm town in Central Valley and would drive a few hours mountain roads to the bay. It was fun. Yeah, sometimes those long drives can be enjoyable. It's been absolutely stunning to be driving around here the last few days with the leaves doing their thing. It's gorgeous. Alright, so I'm cured of the crying state. What does this door do? Oh, it opened. Alright. Does it just take me to the beginning of the game?
Oh. This must be because I cleared the coal mining town. Gotcha. So it's like an underground tunnel area. That's cool. Are all the doors around here? Is there anything cool here? Kajara to the peak. It's a bit of good place to go up here. So it just takes me up there? Okay. Uh, where you used to live was at the base of Yosemite National Park, actually. Oh, poggers, that's awesome. He don't like roller coasters. <laughs> uh, he used to live there. What's King's Island? Is it an amusement park? It's not an island. <laughs> oh, it's an amusement park. Got it. Yeah, we don't have too many cool ones up here. Wish we had more. Alright, so we've got that completed. I'd like to get um, the other two spells. So let me Google uh, Courage. I think Yosemite is still your favorite state national park out of all the ones you've been to. Oh, maybe it's not as famous as you thought? Yeah, I've, I've never heard of it. Sorry. <laughs> he is Courage Spell. Where's my son? Let's make a pot. Okay, so I don't think I cleared Where's My Son. I've got to get him some kind of a healing fruit, which I don't know where that is. So the get well plant heals wounds. Retrieve a get well plant for the child. Go down the first counter and talk to the person and get a Okay, so it looks like I just can get it in the circus town. Okay. Uh, I think Yosemite is your favorite state park. Held record for the largest and fastest wooden roller coaster, which injured like four people in the 2000s before being shut down. That's dangerous. A little sus. Yeah, amusement parks I don't think are my favorite. I did enjoy... Um, like renaissance festivals, like we're out in the woods and stuff, and then I've been to um, like a water park. That was kind of a cool experience. Had a little bit of the amusement rides, like the, the basic stuff, like the merry-go-round and things, but... Huh, Emmy, I love water parks, I know you do. Alright, looks like I've already cleared that event, because that kid's gone. So we just need to go back and talk to his mommy. Uh, Sap likes water parks. It's a clear distinction there. Doesn't like, just, just doesn't love, just likes. Alright, where is this injured lady? Is she in this house? There she is. You're welcome. A wild Eevee appears. Oh. I forgot. I have ancient words of courage to pray for your safe journey. <laughs> I 
everybody's clambering down to get that Eevee. <laughs> Alright, I got the Courage spell. So where is the Courage Tower? So in pipe area, talk to the doctor. Jump down on the pipe. Wait a minute. So walk to the first intersection via the path alone. Jump down on the pipe. Head right until you meet up with a chain. Chain to the platform. All right. So I guess it's in the pipe area somewhere. So we'll head over there. And Eevee has never appeared here. I know! Uh, Kite says there's a ride in Taiwan with a broken bridge where the ride just ends abruptly because the rails disappear. That's spooky. I saw somewhere um, in China they have these uh, bridges. They're like glass bridges across a huge beautiful uh, chasm and uh, they have television screens built into them and so it'll randomly like look like the glass is breaking <laughs> it's terrifying but cool you've been there oh, cool it looks beautiful Here's the happy door. Might as well go in there and get that. I didn't know where it was. Alright, we got our normal fruit. So now we can just change our laughing and crying states at will. Which we're gonna need for the mushroom forest. So that's not where the Courage Tower is. Is it over here? No. Ooh, you sent a picture in the Discord stream chat. Let me go take a look. Oh wow. <laughs> That's really neat. Okay, let me share for everybody. If y'all don't have the Discord, here's a link for you if you want to join it. Oh! Well, we'll give you a nice warm welcome then, karaoke girl. We're glad you are stopping in. <laughs> Eevee didn't like any of us? No one caught Eevee? Where is it? Usually in 90 seconds it shows up. That's really sad. Is it because my Eevee is like probably still sleeping somewhere? <laughs> so where is this door? Oh, it's right here. Here it is. See the bricks? I see it. So this is the Tower of Courage. There is no Eevee. Confirmed. At least, Kaya, you can uh, see my captions. Uh, you want to visit Olympic National Park at some point too? That one looks good. Maybe we'll top you sanity. You know, Kai, we should definitely hook up sometime to uh, do some of this traveling that you're into. I'm all about it. Oh, I am not about to try to figure this out on my own. We gonna look at how to get through this. So... Cry, laughed. Oh, I can't do this. I don't have a mini. 
I don't have the mini mushroom. Okay. So we'll have to come back. Cheating again? I sure am. I will wholeheartedly confirm I am a cheat. You have an Eevee in your Pokemon? I don't remember what the command is to, to search for that. Community Pokemon Twitch commands. of commands, please. I would like them. Give them to me. So that link is the link for the community Pokemon game commands. So Poker Shop, Poker Raid, Poker Daily. Oh, there's a daily reward. Why have I not been doing that? Oh, it's in Discord. Okay. So I think it's Poker Check. Eevee. Eevee is registered in Pokedex. Okay. So if you ever see a Pokemon and you want to know if you have it or not. Use the command um, exclamation pokey check and then the name. You just type it in the name of the Pokemon. Uh, what are some other parks you recommend? You like the forestry ones? Uh, you still live near the base of Yosemite, go a lot during non busy seasons, and it's great. Well, Kite, if you ever want to come up to New York State, we've got the Adirondacks, we've got the Catskills, we've got the Finger Lakes. There is a billion natural areas up here that you're always welcome to check out. I bet Kaya would know some amazing national parks to check out. Yeah, Redwood NP, Jedi Smith State Park, Mount Rainier. <laughs> yeah. And Kaya knows the uh, the secrets of like which ones are the ones that you can just kind of do your thing in. <laughs> All right, so we can't do this door yet, which is fine. So I need to figure out the other tower then, because we got the strength one. Tower of Wisdom, the Wisdom Tower. So what events do I need to clear for that? Computer's a little slow. So this is the Doka pin, okay. Punch platforms. So unlocked after this event is cleared, okay. And what are the events that lead to that? In the deep forest, find the place of the rock every time. Okay, so it's in the forest. That's good. So we need to do escaped Kujara and clear the too dark to see. Didn't I do that one already? Talk to fam to activate the event. Trust me, find the same that we were when trying to capture them before. Bruh. I thought I already did that. Did he give me a spell? A wisdom? No, he certainly did not. Okay, so we'll go up there to get that spell then. Uh, ranch. Where's I going? To the summit. Uh, Kate's been to the first two. Mount Rainier looks nice. Uh, the groove of the Patriarch in Mount Rainier is amazing. Uh, this is the one in Washington, driven by this, didn't have time to go. I bet you Kameko probably has some really cool 
uh, suggestions in the wet Northwest. I would love to go to the Pacific Northwest someday. Uh, Proxy played the junk out of this demo on those old PlayStation demo discs you would get. Yes! Uh, Plunge told me, um, another streamer, that there is an indie uh, developer or development team and when they come out with a bunch of different games, it comes out on a disc like the old PlayStation demo games did with all their little games on it. It's really a cute uh, retro idea. Kaya says, Glacier, Yellowstone, and Grand Tetons, Wyoming, Montana are amazing. Also, welcome in, Proxy. Give you a glomp. Ready to give Proxy a little glomp for coming on in. Found your favorite JRPG on the same disc. Good times. What's your favorite JRPG? Oop. Okay. So I guess we need to get rid of these guys. There's one. Oh, Legend of Dragoon. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I've joked about going to Wyoming with friends. Tetons on to list. I've never been to Wyoming. My little brother uh, was obsessed with Legend of Dragoon growing up. He loved it so much. A lot of people, I think, are still still enamored by that game. At least the ones that were fans of it in the past, they're still they're still pretty pretty confirmed fans of that series. Where'd the other Kujara go? It's not down here. Hey. See in one of these? Maybe not. Uh, Kaya says, that's too bad Inquisitor, about not going. Own the PS3 just to play it. Oh, that's funny. You know, I owned a bunch of consoles just so I could play each of the Kingdom Hearts games. That's why I got a PlayStation 2, a PSP, a 3DS. Because <laughs> I was a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts. Acadia in Maine is wicked. Oh, Kaya, you're uh, starting to sound like a Massachusetts in. <laughs> wicked. A Bostonian. Oh, maybe it was just this guy I didn't bring up that he needed. Okay. We'll bring him up there. We got pizza. <laughs> Great Smoky Mountain NP has a lot of hiking, scenic drives, and a million ways to get lost. Ooh. That sounds really spooky. Hey, you brought them back. Alright, Mr. Kujara, let's get you cleaned up. There you go. My favorite JRPG is Chrono Trigger. You boys have truly been a big help. Is there anything I can give you in return? I know. Huh. Proxy, you've heard that all, all your life. <laughs> it is definitely a very, very east, north, northeast thing. Oh, fam's got some pipes. I swear, there was no collusion. Boys, try to solve the riddle as you go on your adventures. We're counting on your success. Alright, we got the wisdom spell part one. 
We'll say the PS2 had an amazing Cadillac like JRPGs like the Dot Hack series. Yeah, those were cool games. They were really neat. Alright guys, I'm gonna take a brief break. I will be back in just a few. I just put up my little BRB message. This is a great time to take a little stretch, make sure that your body's getting what it needs, because we've been sitting here for a bit. Uh, feel free to refill your beverage. I know Emmy was talking about making some hot cocoa while she gets all cozy. Um, I am just drinking water at the moment, but I think I've got some apple cider left I might go grab. Uh, if you feel uh, a little peckish, feel free to bring a little snack along while we game and make sure that you're taking care of your body. Uh, if you have any vitamins or medications, this is a great reminder to uh, you know, do your self-care and take care of yourself. So I will be right back in just a gif and we'll continue our adventure. I'll see you soon. back just want to share with you a little snack i had emmy will appreciate this this is a delicious lemony cake from costco so yummy it's so rich though i can't finish it right now <laughs> but it's so good all right let's get back to our gameplay screen 
Uh, did I miss anything in chat? Ah, uh, Inquisitor, I miss him already. Oh, buddy, I'm right here. <laughs> Who here likes fruit snacks? I'm very particular on the fruit snacks. I like the fruit snacks that don't stick to my teeth. I don't know if it's like a sensory thing, but anything that's gummy that sticks to my teeth kind of freaks me out. But I like Albanese uh, gummy bears. They're my favorites, especially the ones that are in the shape of the little um, butterflies. Those are my favorite fruit snacks. Uh, you can eat maybe half of one of those cupcakes. I know. I know. They're so good, but very rich. Your store finally got your preferred peanut butter in stock after a few months of recall. And eat a third of the jar. No lie, Inquisitor. I used to love just getting a spoonful of peanut butter. It's delicious. It's a lot of protein, I guess. That's good, right? <laughs> Alright, so we've got our spell. So I think I want to go to this forest down here. It's good for you. It's good for kids. Uh, Saf likes peanut butter sandwiches, but always forget I have bread and it goes bad. I know. That is why I have invested in probably the terrible things for you, but the, um... Uncrustables. <laughs> because at least, you know, I've got them. So we need to switch the dongles. I believe that's in this part of the forest. In this laughing door down here. I do you believe? La. Hasn't been a single carton of milk in your apartment that hasn't gone bad? Yeah, I'm awful with milk as well. That's why I learned to invest in uh, almond milk, because it lasts a lot longer. <laughs> So this guy's laughing, so we need to give him this hashed potato sandwich. Here you go, friend. Boy, he ate that fast. Hey, hey, you saved me! You're pretty good. Wanna become my follower? <laughs> You're pretty good. You wanna become my follower? Ooh, he's starting a Twitch stream, I bet. Hey, then how about if I tell you about my travels? He's got a Twitch stream where he talks about his travels. How cute. I'm on a journey to look for the Tower of Wisdom. It's a... So let's get... Actually, first I think I just need to push it into place. You just... just... I thought this whole time that I needed the hammer to do that. <laughs> and I just needed to push it. Okay. No worries. It's fine. My bad. still strong have too much bone in feet extra bone hurt oh i'm sorry sad no Kite. 
We will love you from afar. Ooh, have fun. Alright, we can now finally get up here. Super serious researchers. You look happy studying snow fireflies. But you, the smallest one of all. That looks different. Love to investigate that. What? <laughs> I'm just a baby. Actually, I'm not interested in anything but snow fireflies. You don't look like a resident of this forest. I'm not. If you ever see snow fireflies on your travels, be sure and tell us. You have snow fireflies? I have a ton of them. Sure. Here you go. Now I have more bugs. Now I have more bugs. Twenty of them, in fact. With this many. <laughs> what? Ooh, that's bright. Stronger than I expected. Very bright. <laughs> he covered it up. It appears those snow fireflies can reinforce each other's life. At any rate, it's too much. Can't possibly carry them around like this. Had enough research, right? Need something to block the light? Something to carry them in? If you can carry them, maybe mm. it'll help you little folks on your trips. I've heard around here about something. A, A light-cutting light box. box. You don't miss her? Oh, Saf. So where do I get a light cutting box? Look at that progress. 104 of 115. That's pretty good. Too dark to see. Taboo fruit. Broken harp. Invisible traveler. Tron. Golden tower. <laughs> You're sorry. Oh. So we need to clear the too dark to see event. <laughs> So you got the fireflies. You gotta find the light cutting box. Yes. Tell me. Where is whoop. Where is the light cutting box? In the Donglin forest. So it's in this forest somewhere. Okay. Couldn't be in there because how would I get invisible? And it wouldn't be Mizuno. That's not it. Ooh, we've got Hitmon Hitmon Top. Sounds like a cool Pokemon. It's 
turn invisible, go into ghost to the left of cage. Okay, so it's in there. I don't know how to get in there then. Because you can't use the grapple to go in there. So I think we need to figure out how to get the item that turns you invisible. What item turns you invisible in Tumba 2? Oh, I caught the Pokemon. I caught it. it. Okay, so the guy is in the circus town. Doesn't say it gives me the item though. Yeah, I don't know how I would get in there. And this is the artist, I believe. And that's the beginning of the thing. Does this guy have anything to offer? Another thing. Oh, that's the same information. Actually, no, can I use my grapple if I'm invisible? I might be able to still use the grapple. So I just need a guy to turn me invisible. Hello. Thank you. Whoop. Maybe the guy up top. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Please hold. Tend to put your clothes back on. So there was one up top. Oh, almost got me. Almost caught me again. Scary little guy. Wait till we get up top. All right, you can turn me invisible. Alright, thank you. We're gonna use a save state just in case. <laughs> yep. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I got the light cutting box. Oh, I can't talk to him because I'm invisible. Okay. Uh, mini clear. Squeeze me. Clear fruit. Block. 
How many more piggy purses do you need again? Well then, good I think I'm almost done. Um, I've got... I don't think I have any more piggy purses at the moment. Um, but as you can see, I've defeated four of the pigs. So there's one more pig to be defeated, and then you've got the final pig. So I don't even have the bag yet for the water temple pig. Um, so we're still working on that. Right now I'm kind of clearing up some side quests before I do that. But there's technically two more piggy purses to uh, collect. Actually, no, I wanted to put the swimming clothes on. We're going to go back to the water temple. Speaking of... We're going to try to bring some light. I feel like there was something in here I forgot. What was it? Anything? No? Is there something here? There it is. That's all the heart pieces. I knew there was something I was missing in there. Excuse me. That's where we need to get the next purse, actually, I believe. Hey, is anybody there? I stumbled into this room. It's pitch dark and I can't see. You need more than a little light. I've got it. Twenty snow. I've got that. Here you go, buddy. Piggy purse sounds dirty. Only if you make it. Oh, hey, honey. Give a shout out to the lovely streamer, Honeybee. How was your stream? I was in earlier listening to Honey and Buddy. Talk about some true crime. <laughs> it was so dark, I completely missed it. Ooh, Emmy, you're harmonizing 61% with corn today. Very nice. You definitely have the juice. 89%. Wow. I've really got it today. Saf, 82? Yes. Beautiful. I can just hear it in my ears. Proxy 96? What are you doing? Oh no, honeybee! Only 29%! Try, uh, try biscuit. See if maybe that's your, your jam today. You should climb aboard that other mechanism. Alright, so that was to unlock the wisdom. Do I have both parts of that spell? I do. So I can do the spell now. Yes, 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 yes. Um, nah, -uh. ooh, guttural noises. Now you're thinking the corn song, all metal. Rata u unka inna. Emmy, you are enjoying the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. 53%. Ooh. Coach. 
you know, the water temple areas are always the challenging ones. I wonder why that is. Is your biscuit limp? No, I think Emmy's biscuit just ended up getting the hot sauce in it. And she doesn't want that hot sauce in her biscuit. In her mac and cheese. Oh, here's a sad door. How do I open this? Probably, but we'll check it. Hands up. Hands down. You want the honey sauce? Ooh. Discovered honey cheese poos. Can't stop eating them. Yeah, they have them at the Dollar Tree, Emmy. They're yummy. Alright, so I cleared whatever was in here, it seems. Okay. So, we will switch back to our normal fruit. Oh! We've got a raid! Welcome in, raiders! Hello! Hello! That was quite a large raid. Uh, <laughs> giving a shout out to Alpha Daddy Pub. Welcome. Uh, oops. Shout out to Alpha Daddy Pub. There we go. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, we are just doing a little bit of cozy, cozy uh, retro gaming. Uh, Raiders, if you don't know me, I am Effector of Change, uh, also known as Augustine or Anthony. Um, a bit of a retro cozy game streamer, doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We're working through our first time of uh, getting through every Final Fantasy game. So next week we're actually starting Final Fantasy 3 on Tuesday. We're doing some work uh, to do some cozy gaming in Littlewood on Wednesdays. And then this slot is our retro gaming. So right now we're playing Tomba 2, a wonderful, wonderful PS1 classic. Will I be going for the golden powder? I, mm, I don't know. I have collected a few golden items so far. I, I'm not going to give myself too much pressure <laughs> to 100% the game, but we will see. We're doing pretty good, and you're welcome for the shout out. Uh, how was your stream, Alpha? Did you have a wonderful time? I think you were playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Do a stream labs a shout out as well, because that really helps me actually know what you were playing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Horizon Forbidden West. It looked really beautiful, the gameplay of what you were doing. I have not played that game. It's a little more uh, intense than my poor little heart sometimes could handle. <laughs> Stream went really well. Enjoyed a pop-a-thon. Woohoo! Love it. Big hype. Big hype. Uh, I do want to say... Um, thank you so much for coming on in i was visiting last night uh in uh, alpha stream it was pretty cool to see some cool things he's been setting up with or what they've been setting up with their overlay um getting some automatic shout outs going like with some clips playing and everything and so you just like get to sit back and chill and i'm like what <laughs> what is this what is this that's really cool that's really cool um, I'm pretty new to Twitch. I think I've been streaming for about two months, and I officially got my email today uh, inviting me to become an affiliate. So I'm like super, super pumped to get that going and start an actual affiliate stream next week. So if y'all didn't know, uh, yeah, Twitch gave me the email to get things going. Oh, Puppy Den, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I think, is that your bot account? that you use. I think I've seen that shouting out commands a little bit. Uh, Inquisitor, what's an affiliate? So an affiliate on Twitch is um, what you get um, when you start stream on Twitch and you want to start monetizing your stream. You have to have 50 followers and then a certain other metrics that you meet and then once you kind of get going then you can start to monetize your stream and set up subscriptions bits all of those things a partner uh 
I don't want to get into it because there's a lot of drama. Okay, it is a person on the channel and a bot. Okay, I was not sure because I saw the box. We're going to give a welcome in to Puppy Den. Do you have a nickname that you prefer me to use other than your username? Feel free to let me know. Um, again, I'm Augustine. Uh, he, they pronouns. Uh, if you want to give us your pronouns, if you feel like you want to be comfortable to do that, there's a beautiful Chrome extension. I really wish that Twitch would have that just built right into your screen name. Well, some other web services and platforms have been able to do that. I don't know why Twitch hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about wanting to be inclusive, um, but they're they're a little behind on that. So yeah, we are just doing a little bit of cozy retro gaming, getting into Tumba. We're in the end game phase of this game. So let me switch back to that. <laughs> because Twitch, yes, that is that is a satisfactory answer. <laughs> Honeybee gets it. Honey if he gets it. That. <laughs> so we're trying to collect our pig purses. Why can I not? Oh, I didn't use my normal fruit. Okay. So in this game, evil pigs have cast magic in the land and created a bunch of havoc. And so we have to collect their purses and then put them in their purses, and then they give us really stylish jackets with magic powers. So we've gotten four of them piggies put back where they belong. So we're trying to get the last normal pig before unlocking the final pig. So I need to get my normal fruit. Oh, good lord, I'm old. I remember playing Tomba 2 on demo discs. Oh, Theo, it's it's okay. Proxy uh, was also talking about remembering the exact same thing. And apparently the JRPG um, Legend of Dragoon was also on that disc. And he said that's his favorite JRPG. So all in all, I think that's a win. Swimming is hard, y'all. Swimming is hard. Uh, Legend of Dragoon. Legend of Dragoon. We're gonna eat a snack. A healthy lunch. Sure, healthy lunch sounds good. Delicious. Uh, Inquisitor, I've been watching since the beginning of this stream. Couldn't tell <laughs> what this game is about. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a, a strung along series of fetch quests. That's really what the game is. I just think it's neat that there's voice acting for a game so old. Ooh, we're gonna wake him up. Yay! Uh, Legend of Dragoon is good. My favorite other little known JRPG from Demo Disc, Legends of Lagaya. I played Legend of Lagaya. Um, there is a streamer on Twitch that is my favorite DJ uh, in Final Fantasy XIV, and that's uh, that's his name, the guy. But now what do we do? This is all I can do. This is all I can do. Now all you have to do is see whether the big fish will notice you. Will they notice me? What? Notice me, senpai, please. Oh, is senpai noticing me? Why is Tumba twerking? <laughs> You'll see that, right? <laughs> uh, textureless hands are your new phobia. Legend of the Guy is amazing phobia. Dump truck. 
that yep that sure be a wonderful thing so i don't know if you guys have seen the trailer for the new amara movie coming out but there's definitely been some dump truck erasure going on with the uh, newest film kind of sad about it Tomba does have a serious dump truck. Yes. <laughs> we stand for Tumba's dump truck. We sure do. Great! Great. Here. It appears you've not been noticed. Gotta get back to work. Alright. Thank you, Barking Otter, for coming in. Raiders, if you need to raid and run get some snacks feel free to uh, go and do that I appreciate y'all for stopping in it's cool to meet everybody thank you for coming this is a great temple. again shout go out to uh, Alpha there thank you this is a great temple go see it with your own eyes okay is there a purse in it that's all I want I just want my purse do you have my purse Ooh. I welcome you as representatives of my temple people. The reason for your coming is to search for the evil pig bag. You're right, I need my purse. First, look at this. <laughs> it does sound a bit like Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yes, thanks for the new followers. Thank you. Is that the egg of a cook -a bird? Now then, come up and crack the egg. Crack the egg. Mystery reflector. Mystery. Ooh. It is part of the mechanism for opening the door holding the pig bag. For camouflage, I disguised the bird egg in a different shell. But that one was destroyed. Oh, thank you, Pixels. For fault follow. Thank you so much. Give you a little welcome to you. Oh, where did it go? Pixels. There it goes. Got a shout out for you. Thank you. Welcome. If you have a different name that you'd like to use, Pause Pixels, uh, then your username, let me know. If you have any pronouns you want to share, feel free to use that Chrome extension that I listed right there. This is your all time favorite game. <laughs> okay. I, I, I feel it. It is a really fabulous game. It really still stands up even in today's day and age. We are nearing the end game. Uh, so sorry if uh, you were hoping to catch the whole journey. <laughs> the coca bird took one other egg away with it. Yeah, how's your week going? How's things going? Uh, coca bird took an egg. I mistook it for the real one. Exactly. Oh, I think I have the reflector. It's in the ranch area. It was in the egg. To operate this mechanism, without both of them together, it's useless. So you're really gonna make me walk all the way over there and not just take it. Rude. Here. Absolutely. This is the reflector. Now set it on the pedestal. All right. Next, open up the skylight. Whoever gets the pig bag, make sure you don't look into the light. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, you're good? Tired? How are you doing? <laughs> you came here from a raid? Yes, uh, I think Alpha Daddy Pup. I think I got that correctly. Uh, raided just a few moments ago. Uh, I'm doing well, doing well. It's been a bombshell of a day to start, uh, and I'm making the most of it, so I can't really uh, complain. There's my purse, y'all. I 
take out the water purse. Ooh, wonder where that goes. Did you get that right? Okay, thanks, puppy. Done. Wonder where this is taking me. There's that dumb truck you love, Emmy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, because I think the the pig is probably over here. Holy dumpy. <laughs> well, don't worry. Toomba is also a little bit of a furry with his squirrel fur suit on. He's representing all of the things. No? Is that not where it goes? Is it up here? There it is. I knew it was around here. Alright. Let's get this piggy back in her purse. So we can get that fashionable, fashionable jacket. She's gorgeous. I love her. She would make a fun D and D character. Yeah, she does. So, you know how we were talking about the voice acting in Final Fantasy X and that awful laugh scene? Why didn't they just hire this guy? <laughs> that laugh was stupendous. It was just great. Oh, I'm noticing my closed captions have stopped moving. Give me one second. Scroll that down here. wonder how long that's been stuck. Okay, now it's gone. It sounds like a high car feel. Ooh. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, don't make me laugh. My jaw's about to fall off. Mm. <laughs> I can't stand it. No, I can't take any more laughter at me. All right, you want to face off? Oh, it can. Water can hurt a lot. Shot with enough force. Mm hmm. All right, girl. We got this. Come on. Oh, do not got this. Just kidding. So, of all the pigs. This one's the most unique, because after you um, get her in her purse, the arena changes a little bit, I think, after the first two shots. None of the other pigs had that feature. Maybe the final pig does, I don't remember. But I know the other ones didn't. It was pretty straightforward. Just gone. I missed. Look at her. She's just going all over the place. And she's laughing. <laughs> oh. I gotta switch to a different weapon. 
Let's go with the fire. No, the torch hammer. Torch hammer. Doesn't hurt her. Alright. Get in your purse. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh my god, a stylish evil water pig robe. So the evil water pig robe is a woman's robe, but it fits you too. Water magic washes everyone away. They sure have. You're looking for Tabby, aren't you? I bet you're really worried. And you should be. They should be. Be warned. I'm keeping those other five. Your tactics won't work on me. That. Enter into my dark corner. If you dare. Look for the last evil pig. Hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, look at the little magic change. It stopped raining. All better. I don't think it really does a whole lot for me, but it makes people happier. Kaboom! Sweet. All right, let me catch up on chat. Um, Proxy says I watched a video from the creative director for Final Fantasy X. And he talked about the laugh scene specifically. They intentionally wanted a terrible laugh. Uh, Saf, I hate Mondays. Ha ha ha. You've done it, father. This is the pushes glasses up anime moment. Yes. For sure. For sure it is. <laughs> All right. So what do we want to do? Maybe we should go to... So I can do the wisdom temple. Let's go get our next big weapon. Where's Baron? Where are you, buddy? There's our buddy Baron. So we want to go to the deep forest. The final boss is just a Discord mod. <laughs> spoopy. Very spoopy. Y'all, I don't think we're beating the game tonight, because I'm having a lot of fun doing these side quests. And that's okay. These changed as well. Forgot there are some on this side. Ow. Ow. All right, we got our lunch. So spoopy. Yeah. Very spoopy. All right. So we've got to use our wisdom spell to open this door. First glyph there looks like a little kitty cat to me. <laughs> it's cute. All right, we made it. Whoop. Whoop. You thought it was a dude on a toilet? Hey. Guess to each their own there. <laughs> So we can just grapple our way up. 
got to find the chest. It's in this tower somewhere. You can go. Ooh. That's the entrance. Can I go any higher? Can I climb this wall? Hey, Dark Meow. Welcome in. Everybody give a nice glomp to our pal Dark Meow, it's your boy. <laughs> he will glomp the child. <laughs> Can I get over there? No. Okay. So I don't know where this treasure chest is then. I guess we'll just glide down. We're playing the Bane Simulator. Ooh. Does this music sound like uh, a game that you know? Dark Knight reference. The Batman. With the jail. Who's going to jail? Ooh. Good thing we got the other tower first, because we know how to break that. We've got our torch hammer. Yes. We got our Doka pen! Yes, 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 yes! Uh, BLB Streams! Always loved the slide as a kid in this tower. Welcome on in! How's your evening going? Another uh, wonderful appreciator of this fabulous platformer, Toomba. Yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> So we've got two of the towers done now. So I think I want to prog the mice, because we haven't really hung out with the mice just yet. So let's get our Minetta Bell and go visit our mice friends. Make me baby. Actually, want to mini do those first. You become mini. There's a little temple near here. Huh. Oh my god, he moves so fast. He doesn't have his weapons though. I see. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Can you get up there, Toomba? Nope. Come on. Little baby Toomba. Get up there. Good job. Alright, we got up there. A uh, big childhood game. Had many great memories. Played it countless times. Have you beaten this game? Yes, I have definitely beaten this game. Oh, thank you for the this follow. Awesome. Appreciate you for sticking around. 
the Shiki birds and their servant mice are supposed to live here. But the Shiki, the Shiki birds, birds went away. Went away. were no longer needed. I myself was a temple protector. If you find the Nashiki, you know I know where those are. birds are. If you find the Nashiki birds, please use these wings. It should carry you back to the temple along with the Nashiki birds. Okay. They're in the beginning of the game. No avail if two grown Nashiki birds do not exist. Hold them with care until that time. Okay. Will do. So we need Baron. Oh, I can't use Baron. I'm too big. Or too small. Or is it because I'm in there? Can I not use Baron? I literally can't use him. Can I use magic? Oh, I can use magic wings. Okay. I got lots of those. Who does this sound like? It's on the tip. I don't know. Who does it sound like to you, Sal? Yep, Toomba 2 is a really cool game. I actually have pretty fond memories myself, DLB, of playing this game with my grandma. <laughs> she was a big gamer. Uh, Pause Pixels never played the first one. Oh, well, we did do the first one already on stream. We beat that together. <laughs> Uh, if you're interested in any of my VODs, they are posted on YouTube. I'll just give you my generic uh, socials link there. If you want to subscribe on the YouTube, I post within the next day the VOD of our stream. So if you're interested in watching that gameplay, feel free to go check that out. Yeah, the first one is good. This one's much more polished. Yay! This color combination means the servants must be... The next servants of the Nishiki bird are the white-tailed whiteies. Ooh. Color combinations need certain guys, or it won't mean anything. But, who knows where they might be? Come tell us if you find a set of Nishiki birds. We gotta find more birds? Oh. Isn't that... Huh. Isn't that them? The next servants of the Nishiki... Oh, I guess I need to find two baby white ones. I don't know where they are. I don't remember that part of the quest. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to grab these... Um, where'd they go? Magic wings, and I want to go back to the beginning of the game. You remember inviting friends and she's trying the trolley game? Oh no, BLB. Shane, you just subscribed. What? I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> I haven't even set my stuff up for that. Um, big old hug to you. What? I think you're my first ever subscriber and I didn't even know I could have them. So there's not really any benefit to that, Shane, other than my gratitude, because <laughs> I haven't had a chance to file the paperwork or get things set up, but wow, thank you. I don't know what to say. I'm blushing here in disbelief. <laughs> thank you. Alright, we got another pig nose panel. Let's get the gold tower open. Nope, oh, didn't want to leave. Doesn't offer to sub here. Yeah, because I haven't finished setting things up for that yet. I literally got the email today. Nope, no more cake. Baby Toomba does not have cake. I think it's mainly pig suit Toomba that does. Busy gathering food. 
Yeah, next week I should have all that in order. Alpha Daddy Pup. I should eat eight times a day, that's awesome. These berry nuts are really great. Too bad humans can't eat them. Sometimes you might find a rare nut in the field. It's called a special nut. Better figure that out. Just touching it, you feel strange. Okay. So we're gonna be collecting some nuts, I think. Love the mouse village. Most of your girlfriend's favorite area. Yeah, it's really cute. You know, there's a game that I did um, a demo for on Steam. What was it called? It was an RPG. It's not done, it's not released yet, but it was an RPG where you play a mouse and you like are like fighting things and they have these really cool artifact weapons that are like human trinkets like a switchblade <laughs> or a lighter it was really a uh, cool art style i don't know if they're ever going to put it out but it's really cool leave the gathering to me i'm so tired though would you like to know what we're doing we're gathering tasty berry nuts here delicious It's a lot of nuts. We eat them eight times a day. Hey, I've got an idea. If you have some time on your hands, would you like to gather some berries? We might as well gather some nuts. Well, when you have some time, give us a call. Give you a call? That's so old school. Oh, I'm hearing it now, BLB. Listen to that music. And they're like bebopping to it. That is so cute. Only texts. What do you mean only texts? You know, Emmy, I'm gonna take a note. Because I'm assuming a lot of people might make that same mistake there. The add biscuit with an S. Biscuit and biscuit with S command. That is a good reminder for me. Look at this cute little book I got. Isn't it cute? It's the Ravenclaw. Emmy's a Ravenclaw. You sure are. It's got the little hair powder on it in the back. It's adorable. I've got another one here. What's this one? This one says Quidditch. That's a cute little journal too. Oop. Trying to get it in the view. You are Ravenclaw. Not me. <laughs> Where did I find them? Ollie's, of course. <laughs> Had them for a while. Alright, the all-time berry nuts record. Highest number collected, zero times. Good, this attempt. You love Ollie's. Yes. Your artistic ears do not like the music. Okay, we will end the music and continue the gameplay. Taste the biscuit. Take the goodness of the biscuit. Well then, climb on his back. Before the very nuts disappear, I want It was the squeaking. Yeah. Lots of dash for trying. Oh yeah. This is kinda like Pac-Man. I'm not good at this game.
I'm doing the... All right, we got a hundred. <laughs> Collect those nuts, nut boy. Found those giant 52 inch long kitty plushies and trying not to buy one. Ooh. Proxy would not appreciate it. Do you have a billion stuffies? <laughs> you brought back a hundred of them. I did. Oh, another follow! Thank you, Theo, for the follow. You're welcome to Theo for joining us in our little cozy community here. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have a nickname other than your screen name you'd like me to use, please let me know. Feel free to introduce yourself to our community. Um, and if you'd like us to uh, know your pronouns, I've got the Chrome extension running on my end. Uh, happy to, to see that. Proxy and Rio are the same person. Yes, Proxy and Rio are the same person. Look at them hoarding all those nuts. And for you. An eggplant. Oh, the baby mushroom. Sweet. Yes. Is it just as high? As I've got something even better than a shovel. It's a spoon. <laughs> it's a shovel for mice. Uh, in the German version text before the minigame says, let's go collect berry nuts. It's super collect super nuts. <laughs> An iconic nonsense line. Yes, that sounds funny. I like that. If you've got any tips, BLB, on doing that trolley minigame, I am all for it. I am terrible at it. This is just right. Well, I think it's awesome that they ported the game to, wow, to Europe and to Germany. Did it have the voice acting all in German? Very nuts harvest. Ready to go gather? Oh, and I totally, while I was writing down that note, uh, Emmy, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice how how much you're harmonizing with them biscuits. 50%. 50%. That's not bad. That's not bad. Kind of right in the middle there. Ooh, 25% corn. Not corny enough, Emmy. We gotta get you more corn. At 85% here, I've definitely got the juice. 3600 dollars. Alright, alright. Alright, how many do I need to collect? I wasn't even paying attention. Let's collect them. Use Ultra Dash. Oops. Get all the nuts. I feel like I'm playing 14, collecting all my nuts from all those hunt trains. Is there a particular amount I'm shooting for? I don't remember. I was not paying attention. <laughs> my bad. We're just kind of aimlessly running around. I think that's a lot of nuts. 158, a new record. 
That's right. Nut all over this. Get all the nuts. Nut, nut, nut. Yeah, the speed boost did feel more of a bane than a boon. How many do you want? Highest number, 158. How many do you need? He didn't answer. Okay. <laughs> Just shoot or five hundred. Yeah, the steering mechanics of movement are just awful, awful in this game. It's kind of like when you go to the circus village or the coal mining town and you have to like try to go in a circle. It's terrible. They're really trying to implement 3D in a mostly 2D platformer game. You got a little more nuts. frustrated collecting nuts so we're gonna come back to this later <laughs> but at least we got our mini um mushroom so that means we can go visit all the other mice and we can do that tower we couldn't complete earlier so let's put here it is the mineta mushroom Looks like an eggplant. Let's get our ice pig probe and make some candy since we're here. Thank you for the candy. We need like 30 of them. those white birds. I don't know where they are. This game is a fever dream. What do you mean? Do you have any more babies I can have? I need a white baby. I don't know where they are. I oh, don't know where they are. So we're gonna take a shortcut. Baron, please take us to the pipe area. You were just on a squirrel collecting nuts. Actually, it's a mouse. It's a mouse that I was collecting them on. Now I'm turning pigs into candy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Mario eats a bunch of shrooms all the time, and he's a staple when it comes to video games. What's the difference? There's a video delay. I think it might be my stream. Is it out of sync with the audio, it seems? Oh, 
The mice in the pipe area is worth visiting. You get an item there. Okay. We will go visit him. But I wanted to clear this thing. And I am totally going to cheat. So what tower was this? This is the... Wisdom Tower? Mythical Tower of Wisdom. Ooh, grats on catching your uh, Dotler, Shane. What is a dollar? I don't know. You'll have to Google it. <laughs> oh, this is not the Tower of Wisdom. This is the Tower of Courage. You think you've got to always take the last door and alternate between laughing and crying. Okay. Kite always yells at me, saying that when I look at a guide, it's cheating. But I like them. I like them a lot. So, cry, laugh, cry, mini, laugh. Okay. Where is our mystery mushroom? Can I move it up top? No? Okay. At least it's right there. Not the one. You remember so little of Gen 8? Well, Saf, I uh, don't really know any generation past the first one. So, cry, laugh. Although, is there another laugh door over here? Yes. Nope. Must have been another one after that. Okay, okay, okay. Last laugh, last cry. Okay. Because I think I did that one, didn't I? The laughing door on the left. Ooh, so this one's different, actually. So it's actually this laughing door. Sad door, so that's this one. Made it up there. And then we want baby door. So we need our Minetta mushroom. Fifth floor. Oh dear, which one do I want? Choices. Um, we want the laughing door. Okay. <laughs> Local furry takes mushrooms and all trains between laughing and crying. Yeah, essentially. Uh, it's always the first door of each type, not the last. It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> well, we got, I think, our chest. So let's take our Minetta Mushroom. No longer a mini. And we've got our Glacier Boomerang. So we've got all three of the towers completed now, right? So we've got our Doka Pin. we got the Torch Hammer. Got him up. 
Oh, I gotta get out of that state though. <laughs> uh, normal fruit, normal fruit. And then let's go visit that mouse friend you talked about. Here in the pink area. I think after we visit our mouse friend, I think we're probably going to call it there for the evening. So we'll probably continue this next week. Try to get that golden tower. Alright, save the game. Five purses. It's amazing progress. Does this just kill you now? No. Ooh, Emmy, look at you. You're doing so great today with feeling cozy. That's impressive. Uh, you can shoot two Glooster boomerangs. If you charge it up, we'll go through objects. Not very useful at this point, but still cool. All right, all right. It's kind of like in the first game when you were getting all of the, what were they called? The like, firepower and the water power. They were kind of useless at that point of the game, but it was it was what it was. Uh, honey, you are 34% cozy. Yeah, you're totally more chaos than cozy. <laughs> is it going to let me do cozy? OBS is not liking me. No, I'm only 10% cozy, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you're also chaos. Ready for Friday? I mean, what's Friday? Oh, it's not birds we're looking for. It's mice. Got it. That's right. That's right. Okay. Oh yeah, you're doing Luigi's Mansion. I totally forgot. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna try. Is it gonna let me? OBS is not liking me right now. All right, I'm going to pause this game so we can catch up on our chat because I think this game is not or this. Emulator is not enjoying me at the moment. So I want to give you a shout out to me. And it's not going to let me while my game's playing for some reason. Okay. I stopped the thing and now it's going. All right. So, y'all uh, need to uh, consider following Emmy. Emmy has recently started doing her streaming journey. Uh, and she's going to be doing uh, Luigi's Mansion tomorrow, which will be lots of fun. Uh, definitely look forward to seeing how that goes. A little less spooky than Poppy's Playtime that she was doing. But uh, if you'd like to uh, support our mod and get her going on her streaming journey, feel free to give a follow to Emmy. There's another shout out. Okay. All right, y'all. I don't know why my music isn't playing either. I don't hear music. It seems to be playing for you. All right, you can hear it. I can't. It's fine. It's no big deal. So, yeah, I think today we made a lot of progress with Toomba. Apologies on uh, almost crashing twice. <laughs> but 59 of 60 followers, y'all. We are making so much prog in our goal here. Um, I'm going to spend the weekend doing some updates. Uh, if you did not know, let me get this thing moved. So you can see gameplay. Let's hide our deck station, get our browser up. So if y'all have not seen, I got this really cool email in my thing. 
that we did it that we did it that we reached all of the achievements and milestones to unlock being an affiliate so i'm gonna spend some time uh this week getting everything set up for our cozy community to continue to do our thing but i want to thank all of you my mods my viewers my community for being just super awesome and fabulous and all of the new people as well welcome in i'm super happy y'all are here and you're on this journey to uh, continue to expand our connection and build this cozy community and worked on having better awareness of mental health i think is a big goal of my stream so thank you yes saf you are fabulous it is known it is known um so if you all want to follow any of my socials i'm going to leave a link right there if you uh, want to see my silly tiktoks check out my little tweets i like to put post some pictures and some things there gaming related you can also check out my little discord uh, community that we're getting set up uh yes i do try to post some calming tiktoks oh and look there's evie <laughs> hi have you come to say good night to everybody that's so sweet of you or are you just coming to get in my lap you don't know what you're doing okay this is evie y'all it's Evie. Oh, it's Plunge. Oh, hey, Plunge. Uh, Plunge is also a super fantastic streamer friend of mine. I think they he was recently working on some uh, charity streaming playing Song of Horror, which looks like it was super spoopy and fun. Hello. I've been interrupted by my kitty cat who says, it's time to give me cuddles and stop streaming, priest. <laughs> you can hear her. They hear you. Here's some kitty cat ASMR, y'all. She was just outside and just got let in. So she's super cuddly and super needy. It's my mic in the way. Oh, you can see her. She's right here. <laughs> okay. So I think uh, without uh, ado, we should uh, take a look and see who's streaming right now so we can get our raid going. Do, 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 do. Makes you forget she can be a bully. <laughs> yeah, she does not like other cats. She just isn't having it. She doesn't get into it. It's not her thing. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, what was that? I missed it. Honeybee just subscribed. Yo, how are you subscribing when I don't even know that's an option? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Big old glump to Honeybee. Y'all make sure you give a glomp to Honeybee as well. Glomp train. Thank you for the subscription. Same to you, Shane. I didn't even know I had that option. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you so much. Um, okay. So let's see who is on doing some streaming. Who do you want to watch tonight? I tend to go for the more family-friendly vibe. But I'm open to suggestions. If there's anybody cool you think we'd like to go see and visit. And check the family friendly tag, see if there's anybody up and on. Oh, Emmy's giving a nice hug to Honeybee. Yes! Oops. I misspelled family friendly with two Fs. Let's see, anybody cool on? You were gonna substance used as good? What? Huh? What? What? Let's see, we got Guild Wars, Apex. Look at all these friendly games. Oh, somebody's playing Legend of Zelda as a randomizer. That's cool. Looks like it's the OG Zelda. Oh, it's gonna substances used. Is this green name? Okay, got it, got it. I got a little confused. Um what you were mentioning there are they uh pretty pg uh 16 plus <laughs> subscriber or uh 
Twitch Twitch streamer. Let's see. So I definitely want to make sure, if I'm gonna send y'all somewhere, that it's it's somewhat of a safe space. I know that the gaming community in general can be known to be pretty toxic. Alright, I think I gotta let his ads play before I can watch him. Oh, LGBTQ. Oh, I know Ryan. I know Ryan. Got it. Got it, Emmy. That's funny. Okay. We can go raid Ryan. Looks like Ryan's playing retro game. It looks like maybe Breath of Fire 2? Yes, Breath of Fire 2. I've never played Breath of Fire 2. Yeah. Okay. We can go raid Ryan. Looks like we're getting right into the retro gaming. All right, y'all. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate y'all. So fun run. And we'll be back next week with some more cozy gaming. Yeah, it is time for raiding, Kite. Thank you. You're just on time. Literally. Literally time to raid. So we're going to go raid uh, our friend Ryan, Substances Used, who is playing Breath of Fire 2 and is a LGBTQ plus person. Am I doing the thing right? Because sometimes when I do this, it's like, no, that command is not working. Nope. 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 No at. I think it's no at. Okay. All right, y'all. We're queuing up. Thank you so much. Have a good night.